Hi, it's Linda at um, Diamonds for Linda. I'm still having a little trouble remembering the name of my channel because I'm so used to saying Linda Learns to Color from my coloring channel and this is my newer channel. So I still have to stop and think about that. I should just write it down somewhere so I can just read it off. I don't know why it's so hard for me. But anyway, thank you so much for visiting my channel and to new subscribers. I really appreciate you all. And this is like my place where I could share what's going on with diamond painting. Because as much as my family loves me, they don't really care for my my coloring hobby and my diamond painting hobby. Which is fine. That's why I started a YouTube for each of my hobbies. In today's video, I wanted to share what I got from Diamond Art Club. And then just a little bit about... Um, what I'm working on. So I guess I will go, let's go ahead and open this really quick. I don't want to turn the box over because I didn't mark off my, um, my address there. So that's everything I believe. Yep. So Diamond Art Club was so kind to send me a, a birthday coupon code. Um, but the only thing I wish, and I know it's probably like a marketing thing, but um, I would love it if they would let you, it's only good for two days or 72 hours or something like that. So it would be nice if they give you a week or something to use it. But um, as you know, sometimes you just don't have the money or, yeah. So anyway, but I couldn't, I couldn't not use it. So what I did was I bought one of their pens. I've been wanting to get a few pens and although I've, um, like I got this one from Amazon, not, these are from, um, what I'm going to show you that I got from Diamond Art Club, but, so I thought I would try one of their pens. This is a one single tip applicator. So this one, from my understanding, this does, the tip, the one placer doesn't come off, but the one on this side does, and it came with is that like a a pore placer or something? I can't. I'm not. Um, let me see. Does it say? I'm sorry. I have to keep taking my glasses on and off. I don't know. I think that's like maybe a pore placer. But anyway, it came with. It probably says. Oh yes, four and seven. So I'm gonna try that one. This one is a little bit thinner than this one that I got from Amazon. I haven't used this one yet, but I have used this one. It's really nice. So I bought it from Amazon because I really wanted to try some different pens than from what comes in the kit. And as much as I love to, whoops, I'm going to drop that, support the small businesses like on Etsy and stuff, um, I just couldn't afford it after I had bought the diamond painting at the end of the month. And but I really wanted to try some different pens. So yeah, so I did that. And then also from Diamond um, Art Club. I bought these placers and I I think I had a little boxes in the living room. But it was a set of um, multi-placers. It has the single, the one with the little hook. It has the seven placer. I don't think it has a four placer. But it was a little set. It was $35. So I'm hoping that um, yeah, that they will work really nice and um they look like this they don't have those little rubber bands around them so I wanted to get the ones without the rubber bands although I do have a pen um this one came with a set of multi-placers that had the little rubber bands so I wanted to try the one without in fact on Amazon I found another one that they actually screw into the um the multi-placers screw into the pen I'm sure it's I don't know if it'll work with other pens but um, I'll share that with you when I get it. So I hope I'm putting these in right because I don't want to ruin like the, the little plastic right there. So, you know, I want to apologize. Sometimes I'm all over the place with speaking. I have this um, horrible habit of acting like you know what I'm talking about sometimes. And then when I'm re-listening to the video, I'm like thinking, you know what? They don't know what's going on in my head or what I was had planned earlier. Things like that. So I apologize. I'm trying to just think things through a little bit more and slow down a little bit. So I got those and then I got this. This was, I think this is like one of the, where on 
Diamond Art Club where they have it. Um, it's the last time you can get it. And this one has been on my wish list. And I, I really like that it had, they have some like faith-based ones. So I was, so this one I had been wanting to get. And I think I already opened it. Yeah, I, I am thinking of maybe working on this one next, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit because I do sh want to share with you what I'm working on right now. This is not just an unboxing. So let's see, I haven't even taken this one out. I don't think I have. This one came and then, um, cause my birthday was in October. So it's a standard, the older kits. So you have your wax, your bags, your little squishy, your pen, and this is the older tray without the little stopper. So that's what is in there. And then same with this one, although this one has like more bags in it right there. But these aren't the new ones with the cover binder and all, so. I was, so I'm thinking, I guess I should just show you and then talk about what I'm thinking a little bit later in the video. Yeah, you know what? I have not even opened this. So I'm working on a budget diamond painting right now that was sent to me to work on um, for my other channel, my coloring channel. So I can't wait to finish with that because I need to finish that up soon because I've had it for a little while. I said yes to for them to send it to me before I had Toby. So I, ooh, this is nice. Before I had Toby and I had a lot of time, a lot more time then. So I feel really bad that I haven't finished it because it's been like over two months. Oh, sorry. I'm just struggling with this canvas. I'm turning it around because it looks like I had it upside down. I do all my filming in the bedroom, so... Yeah, because I don't have a place to put this to film. Okay, wow, this is gorgeous. So this is a 98 by 55 centimeter. So it's about 38 by 21 inches. I like to go by inches, but I know a lot of people are into um, centimeters. So, And it's a licensed canvas. And it's Mandy Manzano. I hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And oh my goodness, it just feels beautiful. It's 46 colors. And since I can't really fit it all here, I'm just gonna kind of move it. And I'm probably just gonna get rid of that. Yeah, 46 colors and it looks like it has maybe two ABs. Maybe this will tell us. So here is the picture. And then here are, so yeah, it's 46 colors. So I'm thinking I might start on this one, but it's kind of big. For me, this is big. And then it has the name on here, so you don't lose them if you separate them, which I don't. And there's the beautiful palette. Oh wow, aren't those so gorgeously sparkly. So I am thinking, because, so basically right now, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about what I'm working on. So I am working on this mushroom, and all I need left is right here and this is a budget friendly it's a size and all and you know it's, it's a budget friendly the you know the canvas is not like you know as nice quality as the diamond art club one and so i'm almost done so i'm trying to think of what i want to work on next so i'm thinking i would like i wanted to work on the mary's diamonds painting which i have right here I'm just going to move the stickers and the drills over a little bit. But I have watched a video, and this is a square. And isn't this gorgeous? 
And see, this one's smaller, so I'm thinking maybe I will work on this one next cut because I want a smaller canvas to work on because a friend and I are going to buddy color with this one. I got it all kitted up. I'm really excited about that. And um, so this one's a 20 by 28. And this one, I'm not sure what size this one is. So this one's, um, to me, this so this one's a square, and for me it's a little bit, it's larger. So I wanted to work on a smaller one while I work on this one. And we're just going to take our time doing this. We both like to color as well, and you know, just being busy schedule and all. So what we're thinking of doing is sectioning it off, and then maybe at least try to get a square done a month. I know that sounds like a little bit to a lot of you, but I am new to diamond painting, and this is a square one. So I really want to take my time and I'm okay if it takes us like six months or whatever to finish it because we'll be doing it together. And then, but while I have working on that one, I'd like to have another one that I'm working on on my own time. So I was thinking about this one, but I watched a video where somebody said their square for Mary's Diamonds. Um... She had a hard time with diamonds popping off and it just wasn't a great experience for her and with me being new to diamond painting I really I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't try this one just yet maybe wait a little bit until I feel more comfortable with doing squares because I believe this one yes, this is a square so I'm not sure I like this is a perfect size though that I would like to work on alongside the Alice one but the squares and um, you know what the person was saying about the Mary's diamonds, the square ones, and how she just did not enjoy it. She even stopped working on it. And I don't want to get frustrated because I really would want to finish it. And then the only other thing is I took it out of the box already. I have such a hard time putting, um, my Mary's diamond. I only have two of the Mary's diamonds back in the box. The box is great, it's sturdy and all, but when I put it in the box, because I'm, I'm, in, and I'm trying to roll it up really, you know, so that these aren't like um, extending. So I put it in the box. I feel like they need a box just a little bit bigger because when I close, so I'm gonna close this end. And then when I put this side in, I push it all the way down. It still has like this little bit of edge. And so I got, I get it in the box, but it's so close that I don't want it, to, when I close this part, I don't want it to smash the canvas a little bit. I know that's the border, but it's still, I'm just trying my best not to get it. So I haven't really, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm smashing, I'm gonna smash it. Or, you know hit it so anyway that's the only thing I don't like about the box I wish the box was just a little bit bigger so when you bring this down you you feel like you're not gonna hit that so anyway so I'm thinking about doing this one but I'm just a little bit intimidated because of the review with the square diamonds and them popping out and and just getting frustrated because I want to enjoy it especially since I'm still kind of new to it so I was thinking of doing, oh, I forgot to share with you my other one, huh? I got this little coffee one. It's so cute, but this one's too little. I want to save this one. So when I feel like I really just need a little a break, I will have this one available. This is so cute. So here's the sticker. I love my coffee. In fact, I wish I had a cup right now already made. But isn't this just the cutest thing? So although this one's smaller, this one's too small for what I want to do with my next. I want to do a little bit larger because this one was pretty small. So I want one like this size or a little bit larger. And I want to do use a higher end diamond painting because 
I want to see how the drills and all that are. With this one, I don't know. Um, um, I, yeah, I just want to see if the drills are different when in the tray when you shake it, if they lay different. I just want to get a kind of feel for what a higher end diamond painting feels like. The diamond paint, does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense here. I know I'm kind of like all over the place, like I said. So that is this one, it's so cute. But yeah, so I, I want to save this one. So, yeah, but this one's just a little bit big. And let's see, so I'm not sure. There was one more that I was thinking of starting to, and it's from Bella Safina, if I'm saying that one correctly. But that one's also kind of big and it's square. So yeah, I'm just kind of trying to figure out, and this one's round, so that would also be good because the Alice one is in square. So yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out which one to work on next, whether it be this one. And I, you know, I think I can do this one. You know, I don't have a table at the house. So every time I get my diamond painting out, I'm going to have to get one of those. We have these folding tables that we got from Sam's or Walmart. And they're just like the meal tables, but they're a little bit larger than the average ones. So I'm just thinking of getting one of those out every night and working on this or whichever one I choose. If it's like a bigger one like this. And then just working from this way up. Or I'm not sure. So yeah, I, I also have one from Craftably that I would like. I should have brought that one too so I could share the ones that I'm thinking of starting next. Um, I think it's called, I don't know, it's like, a, it's like a fairy one, but. So yeah, I'm just having a little troubles trying to figure out which one to do next because I don't have a whole lot of space to do like a larger one. And since the Alice one is kind of larger, let me see if I have it right here. So I can see the size. Sorry about that. So let's see. So this is the Alice one and it is 20 by 28. So I guess it isn't too big actually. So, and then I have, oh, I just put the Mary's diamond back in the box. Uh, let's see. And I have the Mary's diamond one. I don't want to lose my stickers here. Okay, so I think the Mary's diamond one is a good size because this one's bigger. And then this one will be a smaller one to work on. But I'm just afraid of, number one, it's square. So they both will be square. Number two, uh, just the kind of the review, some of the reviews I've seen on the Mary's diamond square. I've heard good things about the round, so, but this is a square one. So that is my little dilemma here. So it would be nice to work on something this size. So I'm really leaning towards this one. But you know, I kind of would like a round. And then I don't have my sticker maker yet. I have one packed away, but I don't know where it is. And I haven't purchased one yet to do the, when you kit up the, the the drills the diamonds so I would have to be I would have to write all this out as well because I don't have the I plan to get one but I just haven't yet my last Amazon order was getting another set of Elizabeth Ward I really liked I really liked using this so I have two sets already, but I'm realizing that when you have two sets, you're basically really able to kit up one diamond painting because you're using a lot of these smaller ones. So I have two of these 
and I have another one of these coming on Wednesday and another one which is all the smallest ones it's a set on Amazon for like $53 so I think with that I'd be able to at least do two kits and possibly a third I'm not sure but just because I what I found out anyways it's just me just because I have two of these doesn't mean I could kit up two canvases with it if that makes sense because you're using um, you know, I didn't even use the largest ones that come, and you're using a lot of these these smaller ones here. So I think it's good to have um, one with just all of these, which is the 85, I believe. So with four of them, I think I'll be able to at least have two canvases kitted up with this system. So yeah, that's at least what I'm experiencing. Let me know um, if it's any different for you, but that's how I'm seeing it with the with this. And I'm just gonna move it over here. So yeah, I'm not really sure what the next one is going to be. So I like this one because of the size, but it's square, it has square diamonds, and I'm not sure from, um, just from some reviews. And this for sure is the one I'm going to work on next. With It's going to be like a buddy diamond painting. And this is the other one I'm thinking. And there's one more from Bella Safina that I didn't bring in here that I might like to do. So yeah, so I think there's like between three or four. Because there's also a craftably. But the, the craftably one is pretty big. So I think I will wait on that one. So we'll see, I might just go ahead and do this one. It's kind of bigger than I wanted, but it's round. And I would love to work on a, a Diamond Art Club. Oh yeah, I guess that one's Diamond Art Club too. That's another thing, I should do another company. So I could be working, I could work with two different companies. Hmm. I wish I would have brought the Bella Safina, if I'm saying that correctly, one in here so I could have showed it to you. Maybe I'll do that one. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, you guys, I'll let you go. I know this is probably getting boring with me just saying the same things over and over. But, so, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know in the comments what you are working on. And have you done, like, a buddy diamond painting with someone? And if so, how do you all go, go about it? So I would love to hear that. So, yeah, so, okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.